Hello and a warm welcome to this session of Edwards Life Science Vital and Tricuspid Therapies at PCR London Valves. My name is Philipp Lurz from Heart Center Leipzig and I'm very happy to be joined by two true experts in the field, Sam Dawkins from John Radcliffe Hospital Oxford and by Professor Nicole Karam from Pompidou Hospital in Paris. This program is supported by Edwards and brought to you by Radcliffe Cardiology. We do have a fantastic three parts within that program, bringing to you the latest developments in the field of transcatheter mitral and tricuspid valve therapies, looking at devices, technologies, but also the latest science behind it. We have Sam guiding us through the predictable and durable treatment of mitral regurgitation across different etiologies using the Pascal platform. And then Nicole will summarize to us and give us an update on the advanced Edwards Transcatheter Trilogy, an exclusive portfolio of options to treat patients with tricuspid regurgitation. But first, let me give you a short introduction into the overall topic of the field. As you can see here, the Edwards Life Science has really a broad transcatheter portfolio to treat both tricuspid and mitral regurgitation. This includes leaflet technologies, but also annular reduction devices. These two approaches are already part of clinical routine and have CE mark approval. And then the future valve replacement technologies, very thrilling, very exciting early results, but obviously still devices which are under investigation. And the rapid development in the field is also backed up by several contributions to the program to uh, London Valves 2021 and that includes several abstracts, recorded live cases, tool and technique sessions and also a simulation lab. Now to advance the field the way we do it at the moment, it is of utmost importance to back it up with proper science to it and um, I guess that we are all very happy to see that Edwards is committed to create the body of evidence we need, running at the moment five pivotal trials, four early feasibility trials, and also four post-market registries, confirming the safety and effectiveness of the approved devices in uh, clinical routine and obviously in less selected patients. So before we dive into the program, I would like to ask you, Nicole, you've seen the, the portfolio of different approaches to treat mitral and tricuspid regurgitation. How important is that? Well, it's very important because uh, valvular diseases are so diverse at the end of the day and having different type of devices and addressing different parts of the valve at each time, whether by repair or by replacement, is really important because now we, are, we can allow ourselves to choose the appropriate device according to under the underlying pathology of the valve and really try to target an excellent results on, the, on our valves. Great. No, I could not agree more. The more and more we, we look at these valves, we realize that none of these pathologies are alike. They're all very much different. And then, Sam, we've seen the tremendous efforts to support the advancement in technologies and devices with proper science. How important is that for the field? I think it's hugely important. And um, we now have a, a toolbox of uh, technologies available to treat a whole range of pathologies. Uh, in the data we've looked at today and over the last few days at PCR London Valves, we've seen very strong signals for safety and efficacy for edge-to-edge -edge repair, but there will always be patients for whom edge-to-edge -edge repair isn't an option. So it's exciting to see the developments in uh, percutaneous valve replacement as well. Great, thank you. And let's dive into the details of the program. 